Hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, and you're watching Fast Company's Creation Stories. The biggest influence, the biggest thing on was on my creative process. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Turn off. <laughs> but it, fuck off. Who's this? Is this Spielberg? No, it's a bloke. It's a fat bloke from Reading. But this isn't my desk, by the way. My process? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you my process. Right. Okay, this is it. Probably the biggest single influence um, on my creative process was something my old English teacher said to me when I was about 13 or 14. He just said, write about what you know. I usually wrote about things that I saw on telly. You know, when we ever had to write a story, it was about a maverick cop or, <laughs> you know, uh, a cowboy. I always thought my stories were the best, they were more exciting and Whenever I wrote a story and handed it in, I always got it back too melodramatic, write about what you know. And this was frustrating because I was thinking, it's either good or it isn't, you know. And I thought my stories were so... Uh, who, who wouldn't like a story called Jezuk about a maverick cop who didn't play by the rules? <laughs> what? Are you mad? This, is a, this could be on telly. In fact, I'm sure it was. And all the other kids were getting B's and A's writing about what they did. And then one day, I just got fed up, so I thought I'd teach him a lesson, and I tried to do the most boring story in the world. My mum used to go around my, a neighbour's house. She was an elderly lady in her, in her 80s, and my mum would go around you know, every day and clean up, do a bit of shopping and cook her a meal. And sometimes I'd go around there and sort of watch, because I was bored. And it's, that, it's not an exciting thing for a 13-year-old boy to watch his mum <laughs> clean up after an old lady. That isn't my idea of fun. So I thought, oh, I'll write a story about that. That is so boring. And I wrote in every detail. I, I, I thought I was being really clever, going, um, we went round, we came in, there was, a, there was a smell of tea and lavender and mould. And my mum first started to clean the floor. The old lady said, she said, have you eaten? The old lady said, I haven't eaten today, no. And I did it all when I thought I was being so funny and uh, getting my own back on this teacher and I handed it in and I thought that'll show him and you know the next day he marked them all when he was looking at the hand and out and he got mine and he just threw it at me like that uh, and I opened it up Aye. and I looked at him and he just went uh, and it was the proudest moment of my life it sort of taught me that being honest is what counts. Trying to make the ordinary extraordinary is so much better than starting with the extraordinary because it doesn't really connect. You watch those sort of shows and it washes over you, don't think about it the next day. Whereas if something is real for one person, it's touched their life. You know, and I think as a, a creator and a director, it's your job to make an audience as excited and fascinated about a subject as you are and and real life does that